This is an example of need a tool, modify a tool. Yeah, don't show that on the internet though. People think we're being unsafe. All right. What's that all about? Well, the spot weld tool has got like a little nibber on the f on the thing that helps it ride where the spot weld is. And so what we got to do is we got to make it so the nibber can ride in a hole and not in a divot, which is normally where you would pop it to. You'd, you'd do a center punch and then that nibber would drive in the center punch and then it spot weld it out. But we don't have a way to do that really easily because you can't see where the spot welds are from any. So we drilled the spot welds from the top down so that we can ride the nibber up on the bottom up. Sure. <laughs> Here. We'll back it with a piece of copper uh, so that the weld doesn't fall through the hole, fill it up with weld, and then grind it smooth and properly. We also did these over here. Ooh. Yeah. So that was where the, the disc wheel kind of just, you know, got a little frisky oh. with the metal. and then I guess I yelled at you and then uh, turns out I cut a big slice in the floor. Or was that you? That's Let's not assign blame here. That would just be... Let's not fight about who killed who. <laughs> oh, we also have this over here. A bunch of spot welds that I couldn't see from underneath, so I drilled them out from the top. All right. And we got to do that. So, uh, so we've got, oh, we've got more to cut out underneath though, right? Uh, just one, just this last one. Then we can prime and then we can paint. And then uh, we can, um, start figuring out what the battery box needs to look like, take some measurements and do some digital fabrication. Yay. All right. Well, we're making quite a bit of progress up here, taking all this paint and getting ready for weld to, you know, patch these little holes that we, you know, made all across the bed of this van. I'm up here going, zigga, 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 zigga. Zach's down there going, zigga, 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 zigga. <laughs> zigga, zigga. <laughs> I love it. All right, Zach, so it's almost time to weld, right? All we gotta do is get the seats out, get the settings right on the welder. I think we've got it. Make sure nothing's gonna catch on fire. Anything else? That's it. All right. Well, we got the little pillow here for the so good. Ow! I think that was a worthwhile thing done. Yeah, well, that was good. good. All right, we have requisitioned ourselves some more room in this general area here by removing all the seats and uh, relocating your boat with our roof. And uh, we're gonna do some test pieces before we get to business. We've gotten a couple of test pieces that are the same gauge thickness as the floor of the van and done some testing gotten some settings correct on the welder and now I've got this test piece that has holes the same size as the holes in the floor and we're going to try to test uh, filling those holes on these test pieces before we go to the bottom of the van uh, so if we get it wrong we don't mutilate something important we mutilate a scrap piece of metal what we have is a piece of copper and then this is our scrap piece it's the same gauge the floor metal and we've got test holes that are the same size as the holes in the floor you put this piece of copper back here and then you just start a puddle and you fill that hole and then because it's copper not steel it doesn't stick to the weld you can pull the copper off and you have a filled hole that you can then grind smooth sounds good to me Oh, for your gloves. Thank you for the kitchen. That's a big puddle. 
All right, and you can see the holes filled, and that copper will just peel off ever so gently. Oh, that went bad. That's the back side. That's the top. Probably a little too much fill. Definitely too much fill, but not bad. We've got two more practices we can do. See how it turns out. You're so dirty. You don't know how dirty I can be. No. Should have known you were filming. <laughs> I wanted to get the plume of dust coming off you. Like pig pen. Kind of struggling there. I'm going to turn this off. I don't want people seeing you indecent. We had to cut the work short. Zach had to answer the call of the bell. Of course I don't blame Zach. Nice night like this. Who wouldn't want to go home and be with their loved one? All right, you are live. You gotta tell a funny joke at these interludes, Zach. Uh, I obviously am a 
rookie welder. That's a joke. Uh, Alright. Those are done. And just like that, all the holes are filled. They look good from a distance. Real 20 foot, <laughs> 20 foot looker. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, so it welded up. That was one of the big holes. We filled it up, uh, it's grinded it smooth, and it looks pretty. Um, some of the uglier ones, let's go to this one, required a little bit more work, you know, two or three passes. Uh, so we had to go at it, grind it, go at it, grind it, go at it, grind it, and now it's kind of done. I, I almost regret showing you this, but this is the ride, huh? Is this one. We had a little zip disc cut right along the seam, and we are taking a bracket out from underneath. So there she is, you know, areas where our skill didn't carry us that far. We made sure to use extra weld and grind extra heavy. It's not that bad though, look, because it's gonna do exactly what we need it to, which is not have a hole in it. We got that done. And, and on the acceptance criteria for this task at hand was never look pretty from both sides. We got what we needed to get done today done. It's sealed. It's, uh, it's actually midday now, we got a couple more hours, so we'll probably will sand a little bit more. It'll look better by the day's end. A little bit better. It was this one. This one gave us the confidence to dive head forward into the welding without more practice. That one cleaned up so nice, didn't it? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about now. How about no, you? yeah, we uh, continued to work uh, and got things better into a better place. It looks good in there. Everything nice and smooth. Yeah, I'm much happier with it. All those shots from earlier in the episode that looked like dog garbage. Just ignore those. Zach will show you some yeah. primo shots here in about two more hours when he grabs the camera and gives you a tour. Oh god, I hope it doesn't take two more hours. Surely, yeah, it might. It could. I don't know. We have standards here. Yeah, standards. Okay, but we're happy. I'll show you in a minute. Well, I think that's a wrap for episode five. What'd you say? Yeah, we're done. Good morning, everybody. I got a coat of etch primer on the floor where we ground and ground and welded and ground. And we weren't too happy with how things were going with our grinding, and it was just kind of rough. So we stepped back, took a little more time before we put a coat on. It actually, everything ended up pretty good. Uh, they're all nice and smooth it ended up conforming to the contour there and everything so yeah we took our time did a little better sanding and yeah it ended up really well I'm pleased <laughs>